today we will be going over this new solar system we've got. So we've got these two panels here. These are 240 watts each. This little 20 watt panel, you will have seen this before on my channel. Check the video I've made on that. And we've also got a windmill. Um, so without any further ado, we're going to get straight into the system. Here is the controller for my little solar panel. And then you've got the windmill over here. So you can see if you look at this little display um, it's done 13.3 watt hours and you can see it at the moment it's doing nothing because it isn't windy um, the max we get out of this system is about 55 volts um, there, you go, there you go 55 watts sorry um, which considering it's advertised it as a 300 watt panel um, windmill even ain't very good um, this uh, inverter the way this is set up to work at the moment is when the batteries are full the inverter kicks on and supplies the load to the house. When they get low, it stops and then flicks you back over to grid, kind of like a UPS. It's, it's just done silently in the background. Then as soon as the batteries get charged back up to full, it will click back on and then we'll be using the power. This system produces about 450 watts from the panels on a good day and the windmill, as I said, will do about 55 watts. Not a particularly huge amount of power, but it's better than nothing and it's enough to get you through the night. Um, the power from the inverter goes to things like this socket and through this junction box here we've got taps in the garage, which is behind this wall here. And then there's also this socket and this blue cable, as you would have seen in the montage at the beginning, goes down into the side of the house right down there where it runs things like our TV and then inside on the other side of that plug out there is this so you can see here this is our solar PV um, and then we have this extension lead plugged in as well as this which goes and runs everything in this console as well as the TV up there so this is this um, the batteries have got enough power that it can run this lamp and the TV on solar power all night. Now this is in the garage, it's a bit cramped, but you can see there, this armoured cable here comes from the fuse board for the garage and goes over into the shed. And then there's another one that comes down here. And this is that socket in the uh, garage, which is a load that we can plug power tools in or whatever we want. And then coming over here next to our RC boats, say subscribe because there's going to be loads of videos on these RC cars and boats in the future. You can see there, that's where they go through to the outside. This is the custom shed that we built to house all of our electronics. Um, it's made mostly out of wood timbers and this roofing felt stuff. And the door is simple shed door. So this inverter is pure sine wave. Um, which is perfect, meaning we can run basically anything off it and having 3 kilowatt of power don't quite have the batteries for that um, but this is more than enough for what need, we need and if I come down here and I look, we look at this thing let's see if I can get you to focus on that, there we go uh, this is hard to do with the cameras in the way okay so you can see here, since we've had this thing installed which has been about pretty much a month now the two large solar panels have done 13.14 kilowatt hour. We've used about half a kilowatt of that just in running the controllers and things. But that's good to know. Um, currently, I scroll down to solar panels, we're doing about 14 watts, which is not a lot because it's not very sunny. Um, but you can see these statistics here. You have controller of the temperature. You can tell how much you're using in terms of your load. If I just scroll through, there you go. Here's like a dashboard of like a whole systems overview. So we've got about half battery right about now. If I keep going through, you can see it um, even tells you battery temperature because there's this black cable here um, which goes to a thermal probe which is just down in between the batteries and then that connects to the bottom of the controller here. This is all a relatively new system but depending on how much power it makes. We are planning on bringing a line out of here, going up the side of the house into the corner of the house there, 
because my servers are in the loft up there and in that room and so you will be able to power them with this system as well. Thank you.